everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivor and Spice back at it again with another match reaction. This time guys, unfortunately, Manchester United nil. Burnley 2 guys. What can we say about the match that we experienced? Absolutely embarrassing. Oh, absolutely diabolical. Jesus. God have mercy on our souls if you had to watch that. To you see Manchester United to start a football match, complete a whole 90 minutes without even creating or testing Nick Pope, where Nick Pope got the man of the match. He got the man of the match without being attacked, targeted throughout the whole 90 minutes. We were so poor tactically out. What's it called? Tactically inept. Um, could not even create a chance. Like I said, Manchester United can't even create a splash in the puddle if they had to. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Couldn't even lead a pack of ants to victory. Couldn't even lead a pack of ants to a fucking picnic. Sorry for all swearing, but I am frustrated and we're all annoyed. And for those who had to experience that, I apologise sincerely. I really apologise. On the behalf of everyone... I had to go through that. Very, very sure it was a traumatic experience. To see Burnley come here and beat us in God knows how long. They have never won a. They have never won at Old Trafford. And again, we lose our record. Thanks to our truly legendary status of a manager, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Oli, do us a favour. Do one. Do one. And for those Manchester United fans who keep on saying, oh, if you don't support us now when we lose, yeah, don't support us when we're at the top. How the hell are we going to be at the top? Just shut up. Shut up. Shut up if you don't support us now. Don't support us when we're at the top. Shut up. Shut up. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. You're not a true Man United fan. Shut up. Shut up. What makes you a true Man United fan? You can't even... A real Manchester United fan is passionate. Who cares? Who wants the best for their club? You guys out here will watch your son go down the drain about, 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 like, would you let your son go down the drain? No, you won't. You wouldn't look at his life and be thinking, I'm going to let you go down the ropes, go down the drain, just ruin your life. You want the best for your club. You want the best for your son. You want your best for your child. You will never see, you don't you never want to see your child struggle. Yeah, if you truly love something, you want the best for them. That's what a real fan does. A real passionate fan. That's what we do. That's how we feel. We want the best for our club. So if that means only going to social out, places out, yeah? And who else? Um, Ed Woodward out, then we want the best for that. That's the best for us about, you got you, I'm tired of you fan can channels. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Who are you? Look at that. You just want to see people go down and drain. Yeah, you what? You want us to be relegated by the end of the season or something if you don't want the best about be patient. Be patient for what? Be patient for what, guys? You can't be patient with that bullshit. Oh, it's hard for us. We're just a bag of shit. Us, we're just like stuck in a bag of shit, pile of shit all over us and we can't get out. Everything about us stinks. Our breath stinks of shit. We bleed of shit. Everything about us is shit. When we sneeze, shit comes out of our nostrils. Because we're absolutely shit. I gotta say, guys, it's it's embarrassing. It's appalling. How do we change this? How can we come around this if we're not sorting out what's going on upstairs? We're not sorting out the manager. Coaching is shit. Coaching is terrible, guys. But yeah, guys, that's enough. Rant over. Let's go straight to the match. We started off playing poor. Yes, we had no joy to the possession, but we created nothing in the first 20 minutes. And then in the first half, we conceded a goal by, what's it called, Chris Wood. From, what's it called, from Nemanja Matic, um, struggling to challenge anyone in the air. And then, and then getting on to Maguire. We couldn't do anything to stop that. Maguire, you're an 80 million striker. You are an 80 million striker. Right now, you look like a Poundland product. You look like a product from Lidl, but even Lidl sell better products. Very good quality product, so you can't even be from Lidl. You're, you're from Poundland. You're a Poundland defender right now. I don't know what's going on with Manchester United. We started out, we got that, we went down 1 0 by the end of the half. The second half come now. Yeah, he brings on Woodward. I mean, he brings on Greenwood and uh, at the start of the second half, takes off Andrew Pereira, who was horrendous. He was absolutely horrendous. Oh, he, uh, gosh. 
I even got spit in my mouth. I just want to spit. I just want to spit because I'm just thinking about Oli going to social and it's going to go. <laughs> we can see this first goal. Go 1 0 one at half time. Greenwood comes on. Still, we can't do nothing. Yeah? We can't do absolutely nothing. Next thing you know, we can see the very good goal from, from whatever his name is um, James Rodriguez, whatever his name is, scored an absolute blime of a goal. Fantastic goal, and we deserve to concede. And I also felt that David De Gea should have, could have saved that, but he chose not to. I don't, I, it's disgusting. And then, and then, and then our manager makes one, two substitutions that I had to question. You bring on a defender who is scared to go forward or an attack. You know, probably looks like bloody um, what's it called? Um, what's that guy's name? I've kind of forgot his name right now. Oh, what's? I kind of forgot his name, but it doesn't matter. It's just coming on. You got Luke Shaw coming on. Half height Luke Shaw coming on. Can't even attack. Can't go forward. Just looks back whenever he tries to attack. Just passes the ball back. You can't just put someone out like that when you have someone else that was bumming down. And then you bring on an invisible man called Jesse Lingard for what? For what? For what? For what? Bring on Angel Gomez. This is one thing I just don't understand, guys. Why does he not want to bring on Angel Gomez? The guy is clearly more creative than, than Jesse Lingard. Clearly more agile than Juan Mata. But yeah, it's just absolute shambles, guys. I can't take this anymore. But we have to. We have to be strong. The one thing I like about yesterday's match is that fans left at the 85th minute. Everyone walked out. People were chanting Ed Woodward out. People were chanting um, Glazers out. But they weren't chanting Oli out as well and coaching stuff out. We need the whole clearance. Bring in Pochettino. They weren't doing that, guys. And what that, that that for me just pisses me off. It's like, and then you have the, you have people pundits backing Oli, backing what's good, not pointing fingers upstairs, not pointing at the manager's shit because it's their best friend, it's their it's their buddy. Mate, mate, be realistic with yourself. You ex Manchester United players, you love the club so much, but you won't tell your friend that you need to fix up. You won't tell your bedroom that you want he needs to fix up. Then you're not a true friend. You're not a friend of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. If you're not going to tell Oli, Oli, you need to sort yourself out. Because I've got people in your case. People in your case telling you you need to sort yourself out. Absolutely horrendous match. First, well, the worst campaign we've ever had in 30 years. Our manager has lost more games than what, what he's won. He's lost more games than what he has won. And you still back him. And uh, yeah, I retract. Not my, ma not our manager. Your manager. But yeah, guys, we just have to just keep it going. You know, we just have to keep our head high because Manchester United will ruin your mental health. You will go to the doctors straight in the morning and tell them that I've got mental health issues because of Manchester United. Yeah, I can't do anymore. I'm depressed. Doctor, I'm depressed. I can't work. I can't eat. You know, anything that I look at red makes me vomit. I spaz out. Nausea, everything, mangrain, just 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 because of Oli Gunnar Solskjaer and what he's doing. Coaching is poor, the football's poor, everything about that club is just poor. But yeah, because we love the club, guys, we just have to support that team until we die. Till we die, until that club gets relegated, until the Glazers leave. We'll forever support our club because that's the club we love. Guys, it's been hard, you know. It's been really hard. It's been seven years and nothing has happened. Nothing has changed. Nothing has improved, guys. Guys, you tell me what you think of yesterday's match. Oli in, Oli out. Because got, you got the ball backing him. They're still backing him. I don't know what they're looking at. I actually don't know what they are looking at. You got the ball backing him. You got certain players backing him. You got his best friends backing him. Like he's doing everything sublime, everything that's great about him. He ain't doing anything good. Even I can do better than that. My grandmother can do better than him, you know? My baby brother, who probably has never watched football, can do way better than him. Better coach as well. You got people that's my PE teacher. My ex-PE teacher probably is a better football coach than him. I gotta say, he could probably coach and draw the team better than him. But guys, let's move it straight up to my man in the match. Because there is no man in the match. There is no man in the match. No one deserves it. We was piss poor. My donkey of the match, the whole damn team, including Ed Woodward, to the Glazers, to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and his coaching staff. Or every single player was donkey of the match. Poor. And then we move straight up to the player rating, guys. 
We start in, in goal with David De Gea. Straight up free. Free. I'll give him a free. He was poor. He had a chance. He had an opportunity to save Rodriguez's goal. Rodriguez's shot. He did. He could have saved that. Poor. Aaron Wambisaka. Five. Vic, um, who was a Phil Bloody Jones. Philip Jones. Eustace guy. Two. He was a blame for the first for the first goal. Maguire. Two. Rubbish. Brandon William. Five. Average performance, decent game. Uh, Matic and Fred, five. They were the only positive thing in the midfield. They're not that bad together as well. Then you got so what? Daniel James. Daniel, one trick in the pony, James. Two. Crap. Shit. <sighs> I don't really swear, but it's, it's just hard. It's not easy, guys. And also on the other side, one matter. Two. Martial, free manager, zero. The manager's pay, manager rating, zero. Zero, guys. Anyway, guys, sorry it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've, I've actually done a recording due to my Instagram page being blocked and shut down by Instagram due to infringements. I'm, I don't know. I just don't know. Now I have to be careful. Guys, I have to be careful now. Just remember, guys, do follow, you know, Silence is Power, guys. Obviously, the links are in the bottom of the description, guys. You know, scroll down and go to the order description. Read everything. You've got the Silence is Power, which is on the Instagram account, which is at Silence is Power 2017. Yep. Follow by the new Bomber Jacket. Do different hats. Contact the supplier by direct messaging and get to it, guys. But when we go back to my Instagram account, official Instagram account, follow do follow me at Red United M U F C because that has changed now. It's no longer Red United TV, it's Red United M U F C. I was due to being shut down. We start again. We start from the beginning. I was close to 1,000 followers, guys. But continue to follow me, bring me up, promote me. I have to be especially careful with what I post now. Now that I've learned my lesson. Also, do follow my own personal Instagram page, which is at Ivorian underscore Spice across all platforms, which is Twitter and including Snapchat and the Instagram account. Yeah, guys, please let me know exactly what your thoughts are for yesterday's game. Terrible, guys. If you, if you, and I don't even know what's going on with our transfers. We're in mid February. We're about to end, I mean, we're about to end January seven days. We haven't signed anyone, no midfielders, no strikers, no one wants to join us. I don't know what's going on. God help us. Just God just help us. Like, please. Let's all fast. We have to fast, guys. Yeah, so we can get back. I don't know what happened. What's going on with Manchester United? And we're not getting any success, guys. But yeah, it's been a terrible week. Terrible week. The previous week, terrible. I couldn't even do any match reaction. I, 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 right now, the, the, the emotions are still within me. I'm upset. I'm hungry. Hungry because I'm hungry. And I'm angry. But yeah, guys, I gotta say, just keep it posted up. Watch out for the what's called the catch up volume two. Definitely gonna record probably on a Saturday. Have it up on a Saturday, guys. Guys, you know at the end of the day, just keep it easy. Go and check yourself out in your your GP for your mental health because it's very important right now. You know, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys. It's your boy Avery and Spice, and I'm gonna do it again and again forever. <laughs>